Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here. Uh, man, it is a busy day here in the Space Weather Department. We got uh, all this Aurora activity kicking up. And on top of that, one of, uh, one of the more stronger X flares coming in right now as we speak. This is coming off of an X 5.8. Um, I'm going to leave that page there because I've been having some issues accessing uh, multiple websites here recently. Um, Solar Ham just picking up on it as well. It looks like it's coming off of the culprit of many X flares and M flares and the culprit of all this Aurora activity here. Uh, that's going to be sunspot number um, 3664, I believe, if we can just get it to load right here. There's our X flare coming in just now. Um, at this level, that would make it one of the more stronger X flares that we've seen here in a little while. So we are just being bombarded here with not only the Aurora activity, um, but also another strong X flare. Let's see if it's peaked out here. Hasn't really even peaked out yet. So we're still at an X 5.8, pretty strong flare. Uh, the location of this sunspot is um, just out here on the southwestern quadrant of the sun. Could still be geo-effective. Obviously, we're going to get the effects of the flaring here in about seven minutes. Actually, it's probably already coming in, uh, as we've seen on the... Let me go back here because I've got to be cautious of... I don't want to lose the connection to the pages here. Uh, but we're already seeing the effects of that. Goodness, <laughs> we got... I don't even know how much more overloaded that we could get here on this planet in terms of uh, all this space weather activity. Gosh, I don't even know where where to begin. There's so much craziness going on right now. Um, so yeah, an X 5.8 or 5. Point, uh, what is it? 5.8 coming in hasn't peaked yet. We already had an elevated proton event prior to all the large CME activity headed this way. So this is just going to enhance and cover the, the Earth in further protons and elevated activity out here. Goodness, <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen, any cha seen anything chaotic such as this. So let's look here real quick at the data. It looks like it may just be peaking there a little bit. See that little curvature? So it looks like it may be peaking at an X 5.8. That would put it at, uh, again, one of the more stronger flares. Let me show you guys the top flare so far. X 5.8 would put it the second largest flare this solar cycle, aside from the X 6.3 that occurred last year, or uh, this year, back in February. And that was kind of off on the northeastern quadrant of the sun. So this one here, it would definitely be a top char uh, chart topper. Almost, uh, but not quite to the uh, X 6.3 level. Uh, again, X 5.8 coming in along with all this uh, goodness, all this activity stirring up. Let's go over here to the current. To put my phone on silent. Everyone trying to get a hold of me right now. Uh, let's go over here to the Aurora forecast and look at this again. I know I've been putting out updates here left and right and that is definitely worthy of it because we're still looking at the auroras quite amplified out here across the majority of the states now the view line may be down here across southern california southern texas or uh, southern arizona southern new mexico central texas area and so on uh, the view line would be the area to watch if you're uh you know if you don't see it overhead you may want to get out of the city Look towards the northern horizon, and you should be able to see the auroras. Uh, the overhead activity looks like it's stirring up already in Oklahoma, Indiana, Illinois, uh, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, Utah, maybe starting to come into portions of Nevada and, and northern California now as well. And it's not quite dark out here yet. Still got about an hour and a half before the sun goes down here in northern California. So we'll continue to watch that, but uh, either way, you know, all this activity and another large X flare. This is the largest X flare, folks, in, in uh, well, since February, but it's the second one of the solar cycle. So that is significant in itself here. Now, whether it produced a uh, noteworthy CME or not, we'll have to watch that. And uh, there it is, 3664. That's a, uh, uh, a big time sunspot, still very complex. It is, you know, obviously drifting a little bit further out on the southwestern quadrant of the sun. 
but I still think it could be geo effective in terms of, well, not only the solar flare activity that we're seeing right now, um, but the uh, CME activity here in a couple days. We'll have to look at some of the models a little bit later tonight, but I wanted to jump on real quick, let you guys know of a very strong flare coming in. Looks like X5.8 is going to be the uh, peak of this flare, hopefully. Uh, but that's a that's a dandy of a one. This other one here, a while back, a couple of days ago, was an X 3.8, 3.9 or so. Uh, so this one, uh, you know, pretty much blew that one out of the water. All right, we'll cover this and more here a little bit later on, folks. Like I say, things are getting uh, quite active out here, and uh, I'm just waiting for it to get dark so I can see uh, what's going on in terms of the aurora activity here in Northern California. But for now, we'll admire this beautiful. Large X flare from a very active region. I knew this thing was going to be trouble from the beginning. Uh, when you see that complexity that's going on with that uh, sunspot, you know things are going to get rocking and rolling. And obviously, it's not over yet. We'll catch you guys back out here in a little bit, folks. Stay safe. And watch for the auroras. Make sure you guys get outside and see the auroras if you have clear, dark skies right now. <clears throat> 